welcome back to another episode. We are on our way up the coastline here. We've got a long, 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 long drive ahead of us. We're going up to Cape York. We are packed up, ready to go. We're just waiting for Mid Guthrie, which we do all the time. Every time we're saying on the way up, every time he's late, every time. But anyway, he's getting better at it, I must say that. So we're just waiting here at the car park. We're gonna meet him and we're gonna shoot our way up the coastline. We've got a lot of driving to do today. The goal is to hopefully land in Townsville, probably meet up with Mick Tyre and stay at his place tonight. That's the plan, but who knows what's in store for us today. Like I said, big drive, changed some bearings on the trailer, so I'm really nervous about my trailer at the moment. Um, you know, that's why I wanna bank up some time just in case something goes wrong. Enough of me gibbering, let's get on the road and get in amongst it, let's go. You. Well, that's the day done for me. It's now 10.30 at night and I've uh, landed in Townsville. I've got to be mate Mick Ty's house. If you've been watching for a while, you will see me fish with him up on an island down on a little coral cay. But I am beat. I've done that drive all by myself today. It's about uh, 15, 16 hours and I'm beat. Anyway, we're going to get on the road tomorrow and we'll make it a little bit more interesting. So, good night and see you tomorrow. Good morning. I am currently on the drive up over the uh, Tablelands. It's a beautiful drive, this part of the world. Actually, uh, we're up in far north Queensland now. Uh, left Mick Tyres this morning about six o'clock, had a little bit of a uh, later start. It was a, not a bad sleep, thank you very much. Uh, th thank you very much for uh, your hospitality, Mick Tyre. Appreciate that as always, mates. Enjoying the drive. It's been a long drive so far, but we've got plenty to go, so just going to take in the scenery. Well, the rain started and she started to get down here a little bit boggy on this road. You've got to be careful because it gets very slippery on this red dirt, especially. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to concentrate here. I'm sort of sitting on about 60k an hour. There's a little bit of corrugation here as well, in and out of corrugation, but it's pretty well graded, so it's not. Not too bad, it's just uh, a little bit slower than normal. Um, they're all part of the adventure. Now we're coming up to bushfires, so it's gone from a fair bit of rain to now uh, bushfires coming up. So, welcome to Cape York. Righto, well we've made it, we've finally got here. We had a bit of a feed early on and we had some, um, we had a couple of beers and we're about to go to bed. We're going to have a quick shower, tub down, stay in a couple of cabins tonight, which we're lucky. And then we're going to be off in the morning nice and early. We've just got all the boat packed up, it's got so much gear and it's not funny, I'll show that in the morning. But we are loaded to the absolute hills, makes me very, very nervous, but that's okay. That's what fishing's all about and fishing trips are all about. Anyway, I'm going to bed down and I'll see you guys in the morning. And we've got two boats on the back. We are ready to go. We haven't got far to go now. We're going to launch very, very soon. Mick's going to get the drone up and get some drone footage. See, Mozzie's here. But yeah, we're, we're nearly there. We're very, very close. Let's keep going. So we've made it, we've finally made it out here. It's been a bit of a punch and um, 
We've made it out. We chewed a bit of juice. Very, very heavy, but it's all right. We've got a fair bit of juice. And if we chew through that, we've had a good time, but the water's magic here. But that is what we've come here for. We're gonna get up on there soon, unload the camp gear and get ready to go. It looks like it stays dry, hopefully, so we can get up there, put up all the camp gear and um, get set up and put the boats out, get the anchors out ready to go. And then by this afternoon, we should be fishing. There's a little bit of wind here, but hopefully that dies off the longer we're out here. Oh, I am so pumped. This is so unreal. We're out here again. It has been three long years since I've been out here. Three long years, but we're actually doing it. Wow. Let's go! Once we unpacked and threw all the gear up on the beach, it was time to jump back in the boat and start throwing some top water lures around. And what was about to transpire next, I could never have imagined in my wildest dreams. Oh my God! Wow. What was that? I don't know. Oh yeah! It's quite large. I think it's a rust. Oh, it's a rust. It's a massive rust. Oh, oh my god. He hasn't even done anything yet. Oh. Oh. Stay on. Oh, Benny. I'm trying. <laughs> It's massive, dude. Holy! Wow! Wow! I, I reckon I need to get a wrap on the leader for the day. You got it. You got it. I think you got him. You know, what that lure's gone. Yeah, Benny, you drive on that. I'm speechless at the moment. This actually just happened. First morning or first afternoon, we've got to fish. We me, me and Flynn were up the front, just we we're just looking at this pressure edge that was coming up, and we kept saying there's going to be a big fish on this this pressure edge, and uh, I seen a big fish coming. I didn't get a quite a good look at it, but just the way it slurped that lure off the top, just I sort of had a feeling straight away that it was exactly what we got here. Oh, just looking after this fish, like these things are protected. Certainly weren't casting at him. And we want to try and look after him as best as possible. He has that lure fair way down his throat. So we've come up into the shallows to get this beautiful fish on camera, but we're keeping him nice and nice and wet in the water. Holy. All right, I'm going to release now. Yeah. We're going to get this fish back. Yes! Oh, so good! Woo! Ah, oh, yeah! Oh! 
Fish on. Fish big on. Foil. Fish on. Big boy. Oh my god. Oh! Bang up. Bang up. There's multiple. Oh. Bang it on. He's friends with him. Well, hold on. Is he done? Oh, it looked very long, I thought it might have been. The beaver. Oh, I really got that. Holding. Oh yeah. Who is holding, mate? Little banger. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Nice banger. Woo! Hit you through a way on the wrong side. Is it all bait in there? Or is that just the current bait? Oh no, it's all bait there. Right? Fish on! Wow! Is that decent? Yeah. Right on the bombie. We're right on top of it. Couldn't Call be, it, boys. Couldn't be any more on top of it. Bang it, see. It's quite active. It's only long sides. Then just if you can a little bit further back. I'll just get that leader and shit off him. Oh, what was that? That oh, looked like a good G, eh? Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. So the Great Barrier Reef's about. Oh. How good. Benny's going on. Oh, man, this fuse is going nuts up there. Oh, the sharks are on him. Get off. Do you want me to wait? There's so many GTs already. Let's see right if here. we can get him up. Otherwise. No. Oh. Ah, oh, pull on. Oh. Shark. Oh, no. Oh, it's it oh. There's a GT with it. It's a GT. GT was trying to aim him his mouth. Blink is cast. Very cool. We know that DT is going really well. Just let this one go, eh? Detail lasts a little bit longer than that. Oh, I've got to get him back, mate. All right, sent. He's away. I don't know how long he lasts. Just latched onto him. Look, look, look. How do we do Should have measured that Spanish. Both of them. Probably, yeah. yeah. Ready? Have you got a drone? Quick, because yeah, it's three. How's the drone? One, go, throw it. Yes, how yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I'm, I'm spent. That was just mayhem, and it's about to happen right now again. We're go, gonna, we're go, gonna go, go. We're going to go. We're going to go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so what happens when you get a little bit eager? Someone's keen. Ready? Are you ready for this? Yeah, Flynn, don't cast. Don't cast. Three. Just so I can keep. Like... Oh! Go now. Yeah, now go. Oh. 
No, you missed it. Okay. I can't even let this float up. That's oh my god! Oh my god! It's so far up, man. So far up. There's another school out behind him too. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 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 Oh, Spanish! Spanish! Oh no! 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 I just don't know whether I've got nip leader. Oh. This is crazy. Oh no. That didn't feel good. I'll tell you what, I'm not feeling good when this nibble's yet. Shaggy! It feels good, eh? But I think he's just having a go like you're looking before. Yeah. Do you reckon they get more pumped up when they're on bait scores like this? Yeah. I've oh, decided this gimbal's no good. He's going hard, eh? He must be hooked up the side. Holy, look behind you, man. Oh, not big at all, eh? Just, uh, uh, just watch this good mix in the water. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah. Bangers are going off here. The black ones, especially. Give me heat. Oh my god, there are fusies going everywhere. Oh my god, I have spent. That might give me hell. Hey, little fish, but give me absolute hell. Oh, I think there's a rasp in it. Get him, bro. Step out. Let me get some purchase on it first. Oh, my God. Oh, no, that's rasp. Yeah, it's oh, that was a good one. Oh, I've got to shouldn't. No, this one. Is he, you, reckon, you reckon he's alright or what? He just slurped it off the top, mate. Please be a good fish and not just playing up on me. It's a G. Uh, yeah, it's G. Hooked up the top of the head, that's why he's playing up. Still, uh, oh, I don't know. Hooked on the top of the head. Oh, he's a baby. Yeah, he's. Oh, he's still a good fish, but he's a baby. Oh, fairly solid, very fat. That is sick. Oh, How you feel, bros? Listen in the light, that's what give me absolute hell. He's not that big a banger, but really thick in the shoulders, really fit, fat in the guts, and he's absolutely slammed that popper. 
We'll headbutt it more than anything. I think you get that one. Get that hook out of this thing. Yeah, nice. Shout Just out. slammed that 60 gram pop. Absolutely slammed it. That's a cool fish. Right. Sleeping in. There's uh, three of these, and Flynn's got a swag. The other boys have got the same setup as here. We've just got a little air mattress inside, a little one man tent. We're going to keep the cover off, but we're seeing some lightning and mad storms going past in the background there. Holy moly. Big chain lightning, so hopefully that doesn't hit us during the night. I can put a shade over it, but it's so damn hot still. And then we've got a nice sea breeze coming through, waves lapping up against the shore on the Great Barrier Reef, outer reef. Oh, it's such a good day to start with, and uh, I reckon it's only going to get better. So good. So we go a little bit of wasabi, a little bit of soy, like that. And then um, proper in heaven. I think you need to talk me to it once more, mate. Okay. Two hours <laughs> old or what? Little yeah. bit of what? Little bit of wasabi. Little bit of what? What wasabi? What? Wasabi. What? Yes. Off the tip of the tongue. Oregano. So what we got going here is we got an orange, lemon, oregano, soy sauce, bit of fish sauce. Things going up the garlic now. We're going to let that marinate for a while while we knock off this uh, beautiful sashimi here that's been set up. It's been a good sous chef. And um, yeah, we're going to let that marinate for a while and we're going to cook those steaks off tonight. And they will be one of the most delicious things you've ever eaten, I think. You should find. I'm just saying. There's a little bit of olive oil in there as well, just to make it nice and healthy. Just listen to a lot of stuff from Joe Rogan on the way up. And you reckon some extra virgin olive oil. Yeah. Good. Great how good it is. <laughs> yeah, good for you, Benny. Good for you. Oh my god. That's a good one. That recipe is amazing. Well, So we absolutely just got it. We had a massive, massive storm hit us, and uh, we had to get down. I don't know if you can see that there, but it's that thing there. We somehow that started wide. We'd had sort of 40 to 50 knot winds blowing, it was just crazy it's for about an hour and a half. Flint, Michael, and uh, and I held the, held the big tarp down in the back here and then mixed up on the tents, just 
the starfish that was pouring down rain, thunder, lightning, it was all up. Oh, man, I was so tired and it started at 2 o'clock this morning. I'm going to only get back to bed now. And everything is absolutely soaked. Crazy. For us, it's been a rough start of the morning. We started at uh, 10, to, 10 to 2 this morning. Woke up to a huge amount of thunder. That big cloud line at the back there, it doesn't look like anything at all, but it was a huge thunderstorm last night, massive. We had to hold this thing right here. Tents blew over everywhere. Mick starfished on those. He had to lay down in the cold and the wind and the, like it was blowing 40 to 50 knots. There's nowhere to lie, 40 to 50 knots. Howling, this thing survived because Flynn, me and Michael all held it down tight and tried to keep it, oh, just tried to keep it from flying away. So we need it for shade and we need it for a bit of shelter. But if we get another one of those, it's going to be, um, yeah, it's going to be tough to tough to do again. We held that for an hour and a half last night. It was crazy wind and then rain and thunder, lightning. Oh, but you've got to take the good with the bad, then you wake up to this absolute heaven. Like this compared to what we had last night or this early as of this morning. We've all been back to sleep. That's why it's pretty late to start because we had to get back to sleep. We had a couple of hours of sleep in like crumb sausages. We had sand all over us and we we're all wet. All the pillows, the sheets, the everything's wet and everything's just covered in sand. It's just shocking. So anyway, we're gonna we're moving camp. We're gonna move down away from these birds. Get the hell away from them and uh, move right down there. We don't want to disturb the birds whatsoever. And we're just feeling like we're a little bit close to a couple of the birds here and we just don't want to disturb them whatsoever. If you do come to these coral caves and you are looking to sort of get out and have a look, just stay away from the nesting birds. Even though they, they might fly off their nest, what'll happen is, is the seagulls come in and they'll peck, their, peck the eggs and destroy their eggs. I know it's part of nature, but at the end of the day, it's, um, Definitely not what you want to happen. I just crunched my boat then on a nice big rock. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna pack these boats back up and move them down. It's a bit of a pain in the butt, but it's worthwhile. Awesome. That's a warm up for today. Nothing big. He's having a dig. These things go out here. Oh, I swear to God, they go out of here than anywhere else. That's not good. Big school of G's there underneath us. Oh, I'm in trouble here. That's a good start to the morning. Good little warm up. Oh, big mouth on him. Oh, there he 
we go, that's better. That's what I was trying to get you to do, buddy. Just play the game. Oh. Hi. That's a good banger to start the morning. That's Gucci, bro. Say that again. That's Gucci. That's Gucci, bro. Very Gucci. On the three, two, one call. Yeah, on the three, two, one, bang. All right, let's get this fish back. All right, we're gonna get him back. All right, send him. Yeah. Woo! Clean. Oh, that was a, oh my god, that take was insane. Oh, oh, don't go around there, get up. What is that? GT. Oh, no. Oh. Watch yourself, mate. Get out of the road. Quick, quick, quick. Wow. Oh, don't pull now. He'll pull me in. Oh, man. Yeah. That was intense. Look at that shark. Good light there. Oh, my God. That was one hell of a take, that. Hey, come on. All over. Oh. Oh. Now that's a good fish. That's a solid banger. Oh, oh my God. Woo! Fired up now. That is awesome. Crazy, crazy take. Just insane. I didn't know what that was. Almost thought it was doggy that was that quick. He just absolutely slammed it. Railed it. <sighs> slammed that lure. <sighs> oh, I am mean, absolutely spent. This thing just gassed it. He just come out of nowhere and gassed it on the shallows there. Bombies everywhere. Just absolutely awesome take. <sighs> and I'm gassed now. I'm gonna throw him back. Oh. Oh. oh yeah, he's swimming away nice and strong, look at that. Back to the reef. Can I get a bed already? Say what? What? I need to go to bed. What? <laughs> so old fella's getting too old for this. <laughs> that, let's keep casting. Keep going. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think that might have been done, actually. No. Oh my god, no, no, no. Oh, big trout. Woo! Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a good trout, man. That's a solid trout. Just watch him snap out. Oh. Yeah, you are. These are danger zone ones. And that, my friend, is a good trout. That is solid. This is what I love about the Great Barrier Reef, especially when they're fired up. They just absolutely smash lures. So good. Let's get him back. You got him? Yeah. You good? Yeah. That 
is why we love fishing. <laughs> oh, for so many reasons. So it gets drilled. Oh my God, that's, that's gone. I'm gone, I'm gone. That's blood. Ah, 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 oh no. Ah, you gotta muscle them out. Woo! You gotta muscle them out. You do need to muscle them out. And that's how you muscle them out. Oh, oh he's had a chunk out of him too. One, two, three. Oh, top hook fell out and he just stayed in. That is a good trout again. Monster. Woo! That is one hell of a cool fish. And you just gotta go hard. You can't give him anything whatsoever. It's hook up and then full throttle. Just don't stop. Just keep whining and whining and whining. He's just changing colors. Just such a beautiful fish and so aggressive. Look at that mouth. <laughs> He's got bigger teeth than me. <laughs> oh man, they're just so cool. Such a cool fish. Day's made already. It's only nine o'clock. <laughs> so much more fishing to do. Let's go. Oh, well, we've got a massive storm coming and it's uh, been brewing for a while now. We've just been watching it. It looks like it's gonna come at us. It's not the same direction as it certainly come last night, but it's, uh, it's gonna drill us, I think. So it's not looking good. There's lightning, thunder, and it's pretty crazy. It's starting to move really fast now, starting to gather pace. So we're gonna play this safe option, I think. Get out of here, get back to camp and um, yeah, buck it down there at camp because I think it's going to get pretty skits a bit later on. But that is really big, really, really big. So we've come back in and uh, look at that. Storms brewing around us, we'll probably get hammered tonight, but this one's got a huge rain over here. So it seems to be sitting over there. But look at these. Father. Wow. Well, that was pretty wild. Was it big? That was a big Spanish man. That was big. I would like to add the long lens on that one. Fishy. Oh. Bait all on up. Oh. Something that's swapped in or something. Must have done a big send. Keen. Big schools of bait here, eh? Some sort of current or something is holding, holding me. 
Is this where we first pulled up that foot when I got the first hit? Yeah. Oh, yes! 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 <laughs> get ready, get ready! That's what we're after! What? Oh, what? My nose, a massive Spanish! Holy moly! Oh. That is a huge Spanish. Oh. 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 oh, he's gonna come up here. No, no. So I could just would just go snip. I thought, that, I thought that was me doggy, but it was a massive, massive, massive Spanish. Wow. You've seen that out. Oh my God. We're gonna go over there. Yeah, go, just grab whatever rod you can. Holy moly, there you go. See that fin? Fin there everywhere. Come on, come on, come on, come on, stay on. Hey. What about this bait over here? What nah, it's all bait. Need the yellow fin. We'll be chopping. We'll see. Psh, psh, psh. I'll be here somewhere. Just gotta. How much water are we at? Not definitely not 20 metres. A lot of bait out here. There's a probably good yellow fun this one. Sharks are coming in. He's getting eaten by sharks. He's getting munched by sharks. Nah, of course not. That was a proper one. That was a proper one, that one. That was a proper one. That was a good one. Oh. Chili con carne on tonight. There's some rice in there. I'm not going to open it up. A little bit of red wine. A little bit of red wine, mate. First time having red wine. Can you believe it? On the goon bag. Cups over there. The boys have got the wind shoulder up. How good. Oh, the lightning in the background of your head right now. There we've got a massive storm. Just going to hit us probably at some stage tonight. But, uh, it has been a cracker of a day. Uh, many fish lost to sharks, many big fish lost to sharks, and uh, a couple of landed this morning. It's good times, we were looking for trophies. Unfortunately, we just can't land that trophy today, but we still got a couple of days to go. If we can last these storms out, we've got enough stuff. <laughs> just we might run out of stuff. Yeah, blood thing over there, I don't know if you can see yeah, the gazebo, we've got the hood off the gazebo. So it's uh, a lot less stressful tonight. This thing, oh my God, it tastes so good. You've got no idea, it's got a 
So it's chili con carne, but we've got some potatoes in there for some extra carbs. And a little bit of rice in there. The boys are going to enjoy this one. Flats on tomorrow might be a little bit ordinary. <laughs> Morning three, the boys are in at camp just uh, downloading some footage. I'm just waiting around for them, so I thought I'd have a quick flick out here. Look at this place, absolutely beautiful. I'd love to have a polarized lens on this, but anyway, I'm just uh, having a quick flick before the boys call me in. Just using a fat boy float 150. Let's see what we get. Bell hook paddle tail. These things they got cigatera in them. Um, hooked him in the rear. Oh, oh he's just shing everywhere. Get out. Oh, he just shut away me. That was no good. It's a start. Here we go. First cast of the morning. Oh, something come up then. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, look at that. Big trout. Oh, 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 bass. Big red bass. <laughs> Pulled it away from him. I got myself scared then. I knew it'd have to be happening here somewhere. Just, just up in the shallows. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Pack and take. Oh, trout. Massive trout. Come on. Oh, look at them all. Wow. Holy. They're everywhere there. There's going to be fish here everywhere in a minute. Oh. Will they come up again? No, they're spent. They're watching it. Look at them. This is going to be mayhem in a minute. This bomby just over here is going to be mayhem. All right, so I just panicked a bit there and pulled it away. Oh, yeah. oh that's a good fish. Uh, 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 he had me in the reef. He's gone down to the bummy. Oh, you got to get it out. Uh, it's a good fish. Oh, he's in there. He is. Uh, uh, come on. Uh, oh, man. Big red bass. Woo! He had me in there too. Oh. First decent red bass for the trip. Oh. Big red bass. Oh yeah. He absolutely crunched that 60 gram fat boy. Oh man. So damn good. These things are just so aggressive on the reef. Absolute killers, born killers. Massive teeth on them. You can't really see there because he's just crushed that lure, but spikes up. Made to just find bait fish and just slaughter them. Oh. This is going to be a whole lot of fun. What a start. <laughs> I love this stuff. I love this place. The outer reef. Up on the flats getting these beasts. So good. Let's get him off. All right, put it over in the shallows over here. The stack of fish just sitting there, right? Just need to slow down a bit. But you've got to be ready to strike. Up in these shallows can get pretty dangerous. Oh, there we go. And they go straight down. Oh, man, he's not as big. Oh, my God. Hump out of Mary Rass, right there on the trout. I've got a decent trout on and a big humpy following him up. Oh my God, nice trout. Oh, wow. 
big hump head of Mary Rash followed this fellow up. And that's cool. Come a nice big hump head of Mary Rash trying to chase the lure out of his mouth. So this is gonna go off here today. Absolutely unbelievable. Ooh. Oh, straight away. Oh, man. That is... Find bait. We've been struggling to find bait. As soon as we found bait, fish on. What have we got here? Oh, big red bass. Oh, yeah. crazy fish. Beautiful red bass. First bit of bait we've seen for a while, and as soon as we got the lure near that bait, just crunched it and went nuts. Oh, they're just brutes, absolute brutes. The shoulders on him, look at that, and those teeth, just absolute killers. Yes, got him. Oh, what do we got there? What's with him? Big G. Oh, he's, he's gonna take it. There's going to be a double up here. Geez, that's a good yellow lip. I'm going to get that in, I think. Oh, please come in. Please don't shake it. Oh, that's the best yellow lip I've ever got. That's a great fish. Yellow lip amber. My new PB. Just stuffing around it. Oh, yeah, what's the feet? This is one cool fish. Yellow lip emperor. Oh yeah, see that buddy. That is so cool. Let's go again. Oh, geez, the reefies are out. Oh, come on. Oh, yes. Little G. Oh, no, long nose emperor. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, oh man, he's only just hooked to the... Oh, big long nose. So is that. Woo! That is awesome. Look at that. Lift him in now. Yep. Ready, one, two, three. Oh, pick it up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That is awesome. Has a big long nose. Oh, up in the shallows here. And uh, thought it might have been a reefy just slurping off the top. And this long nose emperor, one of the best I've ever got. Just slurp this big 120 float off the top. They go hard, these things, that big paddle tail on the end. So good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good. Oh, oh he's lit up, eh? Yeah, sick. Come on, buddy. There he goes. Keep it right. Do you kick off? No, he's sitting by the back of the boat. Fuck. He'll be right now, he's upright, he's upright. Right. He's just sitting there. Oh yeah, there you go, look at that. He was like sitting by the back of the boat. Oh. Oh. Is that the long time? Oh. 
No, that's, that's a bad bass. You idiot. Oh, I thought that was a long time. He's going to do me in. Oh, I am spent. Oh. Oh. All right. Oh. Oh. What have we got? Another big long nose. Look at that thing. Woo. Oh, must be schools of these guys over there. Uh, that's a cool fish. Oh, geez, they go hard. Look at that thing. Oh. All right, I'm just gonna spear him back in. Ready? Yeah, three, two, one. Woo! And there he goes. Back to his little hole. It's starting to be a real good day now. <laughs> it was a bit hard earlier. Killing it now. Phone ready for a shot. Jeez, they're bad. Oh. Holy. Here we go. Woo! Safe and sound. Safe and sound. Fucking barely safe. Nah. Well, that's a lucky call. When the hooks fling back off the fish and get you in a t shirt and not in the neck, that's in way in past the barb, through my shirt, not through my skin for once. Thank God. <laughs> well worth it, though. Big hump out of Mary Rats in the blue hole. <sighs> All right, let's try and get this off. Here we have it. Simple dinner tonight from Sheppy. Yellow and tuna steaks, fresh from today. Look at wraps. A little bit of salt and pepper. Squeeze a lemon, which is just down in between there. It's a bit of a tight squeeze if it's underneath this in here. It's not too bad though. And good. Done it. Grabs. Share the steaks. There, mate. Oh, right. What are they for? Oh, on this camera, I'm going to be on the boat by myself. We've got Mick, we've got Michael Wood, Mick Guthrie, and uh, Flynn on the boat there, Saltwater Prodigy. And there's a stack of fish here, so I'm going to start casting, but we're going to be targeting big fish this morning. We've got an incoming tide here. We've got a coral cane in the background. We've got bombies. At the moment, we are in. At the moment we are in at 60 metres of water and we've got a whole heap of fish stacked up here so who knows what they are but if we can get them past the sharks that's the biggest battle here getting them past the sharks we're a chance so let's start casting and see how we go it's 120 float in the white really do like this lure we're in 
Now we're in about 30 metres of water. We were up on a ledge of 60. Uh, just the change in depth here is crazy. You've got a coral cay over here and you can be a kilometre off there and you'll be at a thousand metres. Unreal. So we're just going to be casting here to start with. Just going to turn that other GoPro on. Seen a lot of fish down low, but a lot of birds around. So, oh, massive shark. So that's a real problem on the outer reef here. People say the shark's endangered. I challenge them. Maybe in some areas, but certainly not on the Great Barrier Reef. There is no shortage of sharks on the Great Barrier Reef. <laughs> they are the dominant predator and there is millions of them. And they really do like stick baits and poppers and they do like taking your fish as well, especially when you get a good one. So, hopefully we can get them past the sharks, but I'm not real confident because that's not a start I wanted. Oh, I don't know what that was. I do not know what that was. I thought I wasn't concentrating on the lure then. May have been a shark, but may have been a GT too. So, oh, school of rainbow runners around here, which Flynn was saying, and he's been operating on charters a lot of the time and said he knows a lot about doggies. He said a lot of time when you've got, and there's a shark, a lot of time when you've got um, rainbow runners around, the doggies are around them, so. That's what we're hoping for this morning, a doggy. But with this many sharks around, it'll be very hard to land a dog. What are we in now? Oh, big schools. Oh, that is a doggy, look at that. Look at that, look at that. That's a dog right there, you can see it. Fucking doggy. There's a dog right there. So it might've been a dog to start with. Come on, come on. That's a good sized dog. There he is there, I can actually see him. Oh, wow, he followed that lure in there. Oh, come on. So there's a doggy around and he, of the size that it'd be a schooling dog. So there is one there. Let's see if we can get a reaction strike out of him. Well, I've seen the first dog for the morning, straight under the boat. Come on. Oh, there's a shark. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't want him. Oh, rainbow runner coming in after it. So the rainbow runners are here. It's a good sign that we're in the right area. Just don't want those sharks. Give it a real crack out there. It's all the predatory fish. Ooh. Oh. <coughs> I don't know what that is. Kuta. Get out. Let go of it. Oh, Kuta family. Oh, there's a GT. Hold him up. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, playing up now. Oh, now they fired him up a bit. Look at him, fires him up a bit. It's just a charge up a bit. I'm trying to get rid of them. So we're just going to use the gaff here. I just sipped it off the top. Mm -hmm. They 
sit still. That's it. Definitely don't want that. And then back hooked. Well, sorry, buddy. Here we go. A little bit worse for everybody's safe and sound back home. Oh, painful bum that is. quiet this morning um, out in the deeper stuff so sort of headed back to camp and grabbed a, grabbed a good feed. Now I'm uh, coming up into some reef flats and going into a blue hole. It's one of my favourite types of fishing is fishing for uh, reefies are right up in the blue hole so it's pretty shallow up in here so you just need to be real careful. I'm just going to have a quick flick over here. There's a few fish getting around around these uh, little spots here. I love these little passages in and out um, yeah there's uh, just beautiful pristine water as you can see look at this just unbelievable all right first cast in the blue hole geez that looks good in here it's unbelievable let's see how long this lasts oh straight away oh big big pack of tackle fish oh, there's so many fish there so many fish, look at them all, look at them all, look at them all, look at this, look at them. Wow, oh, red bass, one million of them. Oh, what an unreal start. Oh, just a pack attack of red bass. Let's get them happen again just for the eight. Look at this, oh, there's a big trout over here. Oh, this is gonna be action, ah, oh, plenty. Oh. Woo. Just one little red bass to start with. All right, so we've got a little starter. There is one million fish in here. It is crazy. I've got a bit of a tangle happening. Let's get this fish back. Hey, nice and gentle. There we go. Menacing little creature, this one. Let's get him back. There's many to be caught in here. This is awesome. Oh, there's so many bread bass and coral trout. All right. Here we go. Ooh, what have we got in here? Oh, look at them all coming. So many red bass. We, we want we want trout we want trout but we're getting red bass we're getting everything look at them all oh my god there's so many all right we'll just flick it over to this one here oh it's a couple of big fish on that one just trying to keep it away from these red bass oh there's a million of them here they come oh Yes, he shook it off. Yes. Oh, look at the, look at them all. <laughs> They're all coming. Here it comes, it's floating up. Oh, we want a trout though. That's the scary part. We just want a trout. Oh man. Right. Oh, that was a bit better. 
this one uh, woo. oh these guys are going absolutely burka oh oh man come on let's get that one back oh I need the rag up here I need to get myself organised. Okay, try and find different something different than red bass. All right. Oh, that was big. Still there. Still there. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. And now they're all coming. Long nose. Blue traps. Oh, this is amazing. Best blue trap for the trip. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Nice blue trap. First one for the trip. <laughs> Gorgeous fish. Look at him all lit up blue. See him back. Woo! Oh. It's got pretty wild here so far today. Uh, all right, we're back to it. Landed a couple of fish so far, lost a few too. Just had to change the rule. I was just going uh, to change over to a lighter colour, colour pink. Is what we wanted right there. Woo! Oh, There's the snap outs. They love a good snap out. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. That is one special fish. Look at that. Oh, yeah. All trout. Big dino. Yes. Look at that. What a fish! 
That is a great trout. Oh, so awesome. I didn't have my head, head one on. It doesn't matter, because that is a great fish. Oh. oh, wow. That is so awesome. That's what we come to the Great Barrier Reef for. Woo! Yes! Oh my god, that is really big. Missed him. Oh, got that one. First one was huge. I don't know what this one is. There's nowhere near as big. Geez, I think it was a big trout that hit me first. Oh, these things are going crazy today. Uh, uh, woo! Another one. <laughs> How good. Oh, he's going mad. He is going mad. Uh, got enough photos of these guys. There we go, that's what we wanted. Hey buddy. So, hey buddy. So, I think we got enough yellow lip today. Anyway, it lasts us a long time. There's another one. There's another one. Really in back. Oh yeah. Rabbit. I'm gonna have another cast at him. Uh, woo! Uh, I really want to lose this lure. I just reckon there might be a big trouty up in here somewhere. Like that. Like that. He's still there. He's still yeah, there he is. Oh, there was a trout there to start with. Not this red bass. Whew. little red bass. Relax back, relax. It's okay. There you go. <laughs> nice one. Oh, oh what the hell was oh I don't know Oh my god! That that is big oh. Oh. Come on, get out of there! No! No! Oh, another one! Another one! Oh. Oh. That's another. Oh, we had some big fishing amongst all that. Oh, oh wow. That is so good. How good? Oh yeah. 
So damn good. Ah. Oh. Jesus. I flicked over there just to get the attention of a cooter. And, the, and this guy just exploded on it. Oh, I wish I had that hit. Oh. Oh. This is crazy. Oh my God. This is crazy. Uh, woo! Oh. Oh my God. It absolutely exploded on that. Oh. I was just about to check my leader. I seen a fish swimming past, so I flicked it out, out from front, thinking that that fish might get him interested. But uh, this GT didn't even get a chance to throw me GoPro on. This GT. Oh. Absolutely woofed it just straight off the top. Not a bad size GT. For uh, the lagoon. Oh, that hit was unreal. Oh. Uh. 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 Oh. That is a solid G. Wow. Oh. Oh. Woo! Same bloody station. How good. So good. Another nice banger. Hi. Oh, yeah. That's a good fish. Let's get him back. Oh. Yes. Off you go. He's gone. I can't tell you how tired I am, mate. Oh, I'm spent. So spent. So, I love this. Oh, this looks very dangerous. Very dangerous. Oh my God! No way I'm landing that! They got airborne! Wow! Oh, oh, get the f out of there! No! No! Oh. 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 No! Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh, I'm spent. I'm gone. Come on. Get him up. Oh, that's a good GT. Oh, that's a solid GT. Oh, wow. Ah, oh, don't. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Eh, 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 eh. Oh, it's been that hot today. It's time to get in the drink. Woo! Now for me, I've uh, had enough of the flats, or, or the blue hole, sorry. Had enough of the blue hole. It's uh, yeah, been absolutely unbelievable. Just fish after fish after fish after fish. Just 
one stage there I was just begging for mercy. <laughs> Is all I am absolutely beat. But I'm going to buzz out of this blue hole here and just go and fish the shallows off the back of this reef and then that might even do me for the day. I was going to go and try and chase a doggy later on in the deep stuff but I hate to say it but <laughs> I think I'm giving up today because I am just short dark. Yeah, pretty ordinary sleep uh, I've been having most nights. And um, early as this morning, I woke up at uh, 10 to 4, 10 to 4, sorry. And my boat was high and dry. The anchor had pulled a little bit, so yeah, it wasn't a good sleep again. But anyway, you get that on the big jobs. Let's go and get some more fish. All right, this is my last cast, I think, for the day. And I'm gone. I am shot dark. Oh, oh. What, is, oh. what is What is that? Oh. Oh. Oh, no. No. Oh, Ras. Who the saw that Ras? Oh. Oh my god, look at this thing. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Did he fade off into the sunset? Thank god he did. Oh man, nice trout. That is a good trout. It's a solid trouty. <sighs> nice trout. And there was a massive ras there. Massive, massive ras. Alright, that, that would normally be a good dinner size. Perfect dinner size, but we've got steak on the menu. So, no point having that for dinner. Well, that's it for me today. Oh, what a day. It's one of the best sessions I've ever had, ever. Just right up there with one of the best anyway. It was uh, unreal. But all good things come to an end. I'm out of here, I'm going back to camp. How far are you off? It's got the uh, 120 floaty on. We sort of missed him a bit. Find some bait. Yeah. Fish out for half a line. Little GT, you get a really shaky on it.
Okay, cool them off. Good money, man. Oh, it's a little hot, son. Eight. on you. I caught the end of it. <laughs> Fucking knew that would happen. Stip me. Stip me clean. Could be a trout, actually. Yeah, could be a trout. Oh. Oh, very shiny. Mm. That's what I thought initially. Yeah, I think I've seen the tail at the end. Oh no, 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 no! No, it isn't. Trout. Massive trout. Oh, oh my God. Oh my god! Oh, mate, I need that. Uh, the grip? Oh, no, no, no. I need, I need the gaff, I reckon. Just gaff his mouth. Oh, please stay on. Oh my god. Yeah, we're just going to be nice and gentle on this fish. The lip grips aren't going to hold this fish because he's a big fish. Just nice and gentle. Yes. Good job. That lure's about to fall out. Um, oh. oh my god! Woo! Holy! <laughs> Any assertion for doggies. For doggies. Any assertion for doggies. And we've got a dino, massive dino. <laughs> oh my God, that is huge. Turn it towards me if you can. Reek, eh? He does stinky a bit, but he's a big dino. <laughs> what a trophy, man. That's my biggest ever. Right on the meter mark. 99 meter. Who cares? It's just a donkey. Very heavy. Alright, leave that. Uh, yeah, to this way. It's gonna be so hard to, hard to hold. Hold on, man. When you're ready. Get this big girl back. Oh, that is awesome. How good is that? Look at that big girl. She's swimming her. She's full of life. Look at the colours in her. Oh, man. There's one hell of a fish. Yeah, she's beautiful. She's ready. Lit up, ready to go. Alright, I'm going to release her. Oh, man, those colours. I just... 
Alrighty. There she goes. That's just my motto. I'm dribbling. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. Holy. Oh well, it's no doggy, but it's just as good. Well, Nelly is good. I'd still rather doggy, but that's my PB trout. Big dino. Yeah! I'm still trying to get over that Spanish. I know, same. I've got to concentrate or I'll miss it. Pretty much every drop, I reckon. <laughs> yeah, right. Especially if you just put a, um, what's the name on the back of it? Bait or is that just current? Do you know, I was literally just thinking that was about to happen. I want to check that because I think I was on it. There's a lot of bait there. We're just coming in on the pressure edge, which is awesome. Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. I'm still trying to get over that Spanish. I know, it's fine. Something weird's going to happen. Oh my god! Sharks will be straddling his tail, no doubt. Oh, oh he just got monstered. Or well, did he? Oh, that's a big Spanish. Woo! Oh, here they come! Oh. Spanish here just took that big aerial strike. We're going to release him boat side. Just going to get the gaff, put it in that hook, oh, and not do that. <laughs> just going to get the gaff and see if I can. Not what Nelly got him. So we've got closed season on at the moment. We don't really want to pull this fellow on board. And there we go. And then he swims away. There we go. That's how you release the boats on. No gaff in the mouth, no nothing, just gaff straddle around the hooks and off he went. Oh! <laughs> it has been action packed this whole trip. Great Barrier Reef just producing the goods once again. Out of reef, how good. What a morning. So good. Yeah. <laughs> Usually I come like get a real 
stinks like that, and then all of a sudden it just goes to neutral. Yeah, but it's just keeps getting worse. But it's not actually neutral. It's you're getting used to it. Probably <laughs> true. Everyone else. I'm not getting used to it. It's like a really bad redhead. <laughs> oh, big fish on. That was really large. Oh, was that, where? Was that a, was that a GT? That was violent. <sighs> That was so fast. Bending. Put this GoPro underwater. Yeah. Yeah. You just can't bend the top, mate. You just, it's it's uh, crowded on. Oh yeah. Okay. It's just a bit of... Gotcha. I'm with you now. So, yep. Yep. I'm with you. Coming up, mate. Yep. Oh. Barrier, you come out here, and you just don't know what you're gonna catch. Could be GTs, could be Wahoo, could be got dino trout, could be GTs, just could be anything. Doggies, the lot, it's got it. World class fishery, great barrier reef, unreal. Woo! Great. been out here now for five days and it's something that I dream about every single day. Um, we're out here on the Great Barrier Reef, the outer reef in Cape York, Queensland and in my opinion it is the best place in the world to fish. I've been here so many times but every time I come back it just something surprises me, something comes out of the blue and it's been no different on this trip. The fishing has just been unbelievable and to come on a trip where you're just concentrating wholly and solely on top water fish, it's right up my alley. This, this is my dream trip. This is what I think about every single day. It's why I go to work every single day, is to be able to come back here and just throw top water all day. It's just unbelievable. In the back of your mind, you just, you just don't know what it's gonna dish up on any given day. It, it could be, you know, a large dog tooth tuna, it could be a big dino trout, it could be a big hump headed Mary Rass, just anything is possible. It's just endless. You come on one of these trips and you're on the Great Barrier Reef and the fishing itself is just unbelievable, but it's such a privilege to be able to, you know, get on a little island like this and set up camp away from the modern day modern day devices and those sort of things you can you can get away from everyone you don't hear about the news you don't hear about all the bad things happening in the world and you almost forget about all the negativity in your life and and it brings you back to a real positive place you know every morning you wake up and you you know you're faced with a new challenge and being so remote you you've got none of the normal things that uh, civilization have your, your mobile phone reception's not there You've got, I mean, you, ha you haven't got power, you haven't got electricity, but you can't just go and plug things in and, and charge up. It's, it's, you know, disconnected from the normal normal world. Well, how good is this? The trip's just about to come to an end. Just watching this sunset go down. We're gonna cook a dinner, cook dinner. 
I'm going to have a nice little uh, curry, Thai curry that I've brought along. But it's been an absolutely awesome trip. Got the boats anchored out here, sun going down. Got a camp in the background here. How good is this? Magic part of the world. Well, this is pretty exciting. We just got off on one of the islands and we're just going to have a look at um, some Aboriginal paintings. They're a couple of hundred years old. They're so-called, uh, well, the paintings are of maybe the first fleet that come in, um, Captain Cook's uh, boat or, or something similar. Um, I'm not quite sure and don't quote me on that, but uh, yeah, I think that's the, uh, that's the story it would have been. We are just saying that and how weird it would have been for the indigenous people of this area to be on the island and looking out and seeing these strange English ships. It would have been like looking, looking at, I suppose, modern day society. It would be like us seeing aliens coming from somewhere. Um, it would just be really weird. And then there would have been, yeah, I don't know what would have been after that. But uh, I'm sure both sides people on the ship and then also people on the island would have been nervous nervous as hell so yeah really can't wait to go and have a look at this have a look at this wow look at that view yeah they'd shoot up Those ones are so yeah. Yeah. This, this is unbelievable. There's ship paintings, there's fish, all sorts. That almost looks like a pig, but it definitely wouldn't have been. <laughs> but, Dingo, yeah, dingoes, there's all sorts of things painted under here. Turtles. It's unreal. Because he used to live here. This place is amazing and to think they would have had this view and seen the first ships coming straight in over this. It just would have been would have been a freakish storm. Wow.